All praises and glory to Yahweh Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai Ba'asham Ha Rakakudash. Double honors to our apostles and elders, which rule great millstone well. And Shalom to the whole for elect of the nation of Israel. May you endure until the end. Shalom. Wa Baba Ball. So the CDC warns of deadly fungus in Colorado. Urgent threat. Okay, which they say that people are dying from this. And when you actually look it up, what this is. Candida. Candida, a yeast-like parasitic fungus that can sometimes cause thrush. All right. It says infection of mouth and throat by a yeast-like fungus causing whitest patches. Infection of the Gentile, I'm sorry, genitalias. See, it's uh, it goes to your privates, and you could get it to the mouth. All right, you would get white spots in your mouth and in your privates. You see right here, the woman. All right. So this is a plague on the woman. All right. And it's killing women in Colorado. All right. And I just want to get a scripture of why this is happening. All right. And it's happening majorly to the so-called Negro, Latino, and Native American Indian woman. Because they are the Israelite women. All right, and they've been destroyed by Esau and his education system, which he teaches them to be uh, feminists, which they want to be allowed to commit all kinds of abominations and not be held responsible for them, which there's a law that we have that we're supposed to be trying to obtain Right, we're trying to keep the righteousness of Yahweh Ba Sham as we've been commanded, and what they commit is abominations, the complete opposite. Right? In the in the law of Yahweh Ba Sham you have where the man is allowed to have many women as wives, concubines, and Esau's wicked society, he puts the woman up. That's why even the cities are called metropolitan. All right, going back to the being a woman, being uh, like a mother, and that's why women love the city. All right, because they're comfortable there, but this society is built by the wicked for the woman to rule over the man. All right, and the woman of our nation, the Israelite woman, the so-called Negro, Latino, and Native American Indian woman have sold out the men, the Israelite men, to be with the heathen, to have a lifestyle of the heathen, to commit the abominations of the heathen. All right, and the Lord's going to put them to death because they've been used and abused and they're no good no more. It says in Ecclesiasticus chapter 25, verse 19, all wickedness is but little to the wickedness of a woman. Let the portion of a sinner fall upon her. So let death come upon her. Because these women, they have bodies. All right. And then a lot of times they fall in love with the heathen. Right. They, they think be, being with the so-called white man is better than being with their own people. They're always dyeing their hair blonde to try to look like the heathen. Trying to put fake coloring eye contacts in to try to look like the heathen. Right? They wear these long nails. Which is a, it's actually a symbol of, of uh, them having power. Alright? Because you're not supposed to be able to do all kinds of work with those on your fingers. So it shows you that you have power. Over the man because your hand, if you were actually 
washing dishes and doing laundry and cleaning for your husband and for your family, all right, you, you wouldn't be able to have nails like that. Right? You'd have to cut them down and keep them short because your hands would always be working. But because these women, all right, they're they're able to get paid on a high level for a little bit of work, all right, they're actually able to grow these nails or or have them artificially put on or the eyelashes. You know, they're completely fake, these women nowadays. And what they're trying to hide is that that abomination that they have as a body because they've let so many men penetrate them, all right? So they've been used and abused, and they're just walking pus buckets, you know? Abominations. The world would be a better place without them. You know, these abominations that you have as so-called women today, all right? Because the world is in a bad state under the so-called white man. And you got to remember the serpent deceived Eve in the garden of Eden, east the garden east of Eden, all right? And what he what he deceived her with was that he was able to give her some kind of power or secret knowledge, right? And that's what she chases. There's a movie called um oh, what is it called? American Refuge, and it shows a Jake family, the woman, all right, a so-called black family, and the woman, you know, just like an average so-called Jake woman, you know, they, they got bad attitudes all the time, always talking shit to their husband, never happy, and then uh, all of a sudden, an uh, economic collapse happens, and they end up going to the Edomite next door, because the stupid woman is leading the man, and, uh, Eventually, the man, the Edomite, sticks the gun to the Jake's head and tells him, you and your son hit the road. Your wife and your daughter are mine and my son's pretty much sex slaves, you know. And the, the wife was down for it. And it was because he had protection. He had food. He had water. You know, they're always looking for the opportunity of power, of do, of, of raising themselves up. All right. And that's what women are. Women are power hungry. They're always looking for the greener, you know, for the the opportunity to try to be on the greener side. You know, whether it's with you or whether it be with another man, these women are always chasing, you know, a dream that is not true. And at the end of their lives, they, they, they you know, I've seen videos of these older women crying because they spent their whole life chasing a false feminist dream and now they're in hell because they're getting old they're they're alone no one loves them nobody gives a fuck about them you know but that's the that's the judgment that is upon the woman once again ecclesiasticus chapter 25 verse 19 all wickedness is but little to the wickedness of a woman let the portion of a sinner fall upon her So a lot of women are going to die, all right? The Lord's going to put a lot of women to death. And I got another scripture for that. And there's a lot of scriptures in there, but there's certain ones that are our favorites. Uh, Let me go ahead and get... Yeah, I'm going to go to the Apocrypha. 2nd Ezra 16. You know what, let me go to Ezekiel. That's even a clearer scripture. Ezekiel 9 verse 4. It says, And Yahweh said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, talking about the Israelites, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof, which is dealing with the prophets. Having that desire, the same as David, King David, all right, for Yahweh Baasham Yahushai, which that was given to us. It says, and to the others, he said, and which in that, when you go into that scripture, I don't want to, you know, not point it out, but when you go into that w- word, 
set a mark that word mark it's the law and that mark is makes you exempt from judgment if you're an Israelite man that has that mark that's a spiritual mark and it tells you in the definition that it's a it's a it's a it's a, a desire for the Lord all right you want the Lord's will to be done Yahweh Ba'asham Yahushai as on earth as it is in heaven it, it says in verse 5 and to the others he said in mine hearing go ye after him through the city and smite let not your eyes spare neither have ye pity slay utterly old and young both maids and little children and women but come not near any man whom is the mark the Tawa and began at my sanctuary then they began at the at the ancient men which were before the house which you got a lot of false prophets all right and you got a lot of people following false prophets all right in these Israelite camps believing in false doctrines and the Lord is going to put the false prophet to death and them that follow the false prophet they're going to follow him right into death all right but the elect men all right we're bearing that fruit it says in matthew 6 no 7 matthew 7 verse 20 Wherefore, by their fruits ye shall know them. All right, let me go to Isaiah 3, 10. Say ye to the righteous, it shall be well with him, for they shall eat the fruit of their doings. Woe unto the wicked, it shall be ill with him. For the reward of his hand shall be given him. As for my people, children are their oppressors, and women rule over them. O oh, my people, they which led thee, caused thee to err, and destroy the way of thy paths, which they taught us lies. Yahweh standeth up, and to please... Yahweh, what I was thinking, though, that's why I stuttered, was up. They didn't just teach us lies. They they taught us things to destroy ourselves with, where we actually commit homo, you know, um, they t they taught us homosexual activity, and that is gonna be an abomination. You know, that's what I meant by that. It's not just like they just teaching you lies. Like, you know, instead of going right, they teach you that's left. No, they taught you how to be a homosexual. They taught our daughters how to be whores. They're teaching our children. You know what I'm saying? All kinds of horrible, horrible, filthy things. See? And they done that to all of us. They taught us a bunch of shit. Even on TV, when you're watching TV, you got to see homosexual shit. You know? Then you'll be flipping through the channels, and then all of a sudden, two guys be kissing and shit. And that's a sin just to see that. You see? So that's why it says... O oh, my people, they which led thee, caused thee to err. And who's ruling over us? Esau, the devil, the so-called white man, the wicked, which the other nations are in bed with him, the UN, right? And then you got Eve. Eve is in bed with Esau, the Israelite woman. All right, they done sold out, sold their men out, and now they want men to accept their feminist lies, all right, and to learn the abominations that the so-called white man, you know, teaches these women to commit. So woe unto the wicked, it shall be ill with him, for the reward of his hand shall be given him. And what's going to happen to those two-thirds, it says in Isaiah 3, verse 8, For Jerusalem is ruined and Judah is fallen, because their tongue and their doings are against Yahweh to provoke the eyes of his glory, the show of their countenance does witness against them. And they declare their sin as Sodom, which their homos, they hide it not. Woe unto their soul, 
for they have rewarded evil unto themselves. You see? Because they accepted the wickedness of the so-called white man. All right? They brought death upon themselves. All right? But the hopeful elect, the righteous, it shall be well with us because we shall eat the fruit of our doings, which we're prophesying of Yahweh Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, as they're going to return and judge this world and put it back in order under righteousness. But right now it's the wicked, and the wicked has made a deal, you know, with Eve, the Israelite woman, the so-called Negro, Latino, and Native American Indian woman. They sold out. That's why they're the number ones having abortions. That's why they're the biggest whores. All right. They're, they're pretty much abominations. And the Lord's going to put them to death. But there is a, a, a number of Israelite women that will be saved, whether they're, you know, young women. Because according to Yahweh's standard, you could marry at, once you have your first period. Which that's what's going to happen. We're going to go back to them old, good old ways. All right. Right now, uh, uh, these young women, they could have sex all they want from, you know, when they're young to when they get old. And and you can't even marry them until they're 18. And by then, they've already had hundreds of partners. They've already been addicted to pornography. All right. And then a lot of times they're coming from broken homes. These women, they don't even, you know, you ask a uh, female, you know, did you, did, was your mother a wife? And she, there was no woman in her life that was a wife. So she has no example of what a wife is to be. So you have these women, these Jake women, who I don't know I'm talking to, which follow the heathen, and they're no good no more. They're absolutely no good. And this is all throughout the whole world. You go to, to Asia, you're going to find the same problems you find here in Babylon. Because their wickedness has spread throughout the whole world. You go to Africa, you got the same problem. You got Jake women in West Africa dying their hair. Probably had trains ran on them. All right. In Asia, the same thing. Look at TikTok. You got a bunch of Asian women. Which you got Jake throughout the whole world. But Jake is the one that's all fucked up committing abominations, you know, following the heathen. So the Lord's going to destroy them. But there is a remnant which the Lord's going to preserve some women for the Israelite nation to come back. Isaiah 4 verse 1. And in that day, seven women shall take hold of one man saying, we will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel, only let us be called by thy name, to take away our reproach. In that day shall the branch of Yahweh be beautiful, the branch is the man of Yahweh, be beautiful and glorious, and the fruit of the earth shall be excellent and comely for them that are escaped of Israel. In verse 5, And Yahweh will create upon every dwelling place of Mount Zion and upon her assemblies a cloud, which is a chariot, and smoke by day, and the shining of a flaming fire by night. For upon all the glory shall be a defense, a defense of what's to come. All right, we're about to live through the worst time ever to be known to man called Jacob's trouble. When, you know, the so-called Negro, Latino, and Native American Indian are Jacob, and you're going to see a trouble that's never been known before, all right, you're going to become prey to all these foreign troops that are going to be here, and they're already here, I just saw Dabu7 put up a video of Chinese age soldiers coming in by the busloads to fight, and you know who they're going to fight, the most, the most of the violence is going to be against you Israelites, that's why it's called Jacob's Trouble. All right? That's why the Lord says he's going to start at the house of Israel. All right? And he's going to torment these women. 
that have been living abomination, you know, living lives like abominations, being whores and killers of their own babies, you know, put their husbands in prison for false accusations, all right? But the women that repent and get back into order, those women are going to be saved and they're going to be allowed to escape. It says, And the fruit of the earth shall be excellent and comely for them that are escaped of Israel. In verse 2. Now, verse 6. And there shall be a tabernacle, which the tabernacle of Yahweh is with men, those Israelite elect men, which I hope to be in that number, for a shadow in the daytime from the heat and for a place of refuge and for a covert from storm and from rain. So a woman's uh, rest is with her man. And these women that think they don't need a man, they could fight a man, they could fuck all kinds of different men and nothing happen. Well, their motherfucking ass is going to learn. The, <laughs> they're going to learn. All right. They're going to learn by pain. And one of the pains that are coming upon you is plagues. Just like I showed you earlier, this here, this plague that's in Colorado right now, they said it's all over the place though in the United States. But when you look into this... Candida. Candida. You know, you get patches like AIDS almost all over your mouth and in your privates dealing with these women. So the Lord's going to be putting these women to death because this actually kills these women. All right? So be careful also, brothers, who you out there sticking your dick inside of because a woman is like a, a pit. And, you know, they, they're out there soul hunting. They're out there trying to, to, to get you to sell out so that they could destroy you. Because they, they want a form of power and they're willing to kill for it. You know, even uh, Master P had that song back in the day. Killer pussy, killer pussy, killer pussy. These bitches be killing niggas just like niggas. All right? So watch your back. Dot your eyes, cross your T's. All praises and glory to Yahweh Baasham, Yahweh Shai, Baasham Ha, Raka Kadash, double honors. To our apostle elders, which rule great millstone while and shalom to the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel. May you endure it until the end. Shalom wa ababa